Hi everybody, this is Cam. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is just a kind of like a story time thing. I just wanted to tell you about this one hour shift I did on Sunday. It was the stars were all aligned. Everything just was really great and I just want to share it with you because things have been so slow and so just, I don't know, funky lately that uh, this was just a great little short hour that I was out and I just want to share it with you. So anyways, let's check it out. Okay, so I only had about an hour to go out and drive. This was a Sunday morning shift. I was meeting some old friends for lunch and um, like I said, I only had about an hour. I had already scheduled a Grubhub block, so I decided to go ahead and do that one hour block. And then I was going to be done. I figured, okay, I'll make 20, 30 bucks, whatever. You know, it was just, you know, why not? I was ready, had nothing else going on. Let's go out and do it. I am so glad I did. So only one hour. How much would I make? So uh, basically my Grubhub block was scheduled from 1030 to 1130. So not too long, but it was all I could get. Uh, the DoorDash area was gray, and I was not able to start dashing, so it, Grubhub was it. About 10.15, I turned on Grubhub while I was still at home, not expecting anything really, and within seconds, I got an order. I'm like, okay, so here's order number one. $16.85 for a restaurant about a mile from my house and delivering maybe five minutes from the restaurant. Great, so I grabbed it. So I hopped in my car, headed to the restaurant, waited maybe one minute for the food, grabbed it, and headed to the customer. Delivered at 10.31 a.m. So I made $16.85 in basically 16 minutes. Not bad. Super easy. As I pulled up to their house, Grubhub offered me another short hop delivery. Okay, this one's not as great, but still good. $11.35 from Panda Express, right back near to where I just delivered that last order. Okay, very close. So from that delivery to Panda Express was, you know, I don't even know, mile and a half maybe. And I was gonna pick up and deliver right back where I was. So I go to Panda Express and the order was sitting there waiting for me. Awesome, thanked them, took it and headed to the customer. Easy drop off, delivered at 10.51. Okay, so it's been a little over a half hour and got like 27 bucks already. Not bad. Then I checked DoorDash. And, oh my gosh, it let me dash, yay. So I hopped on, clicked all the little buttons and uh, started dashing. Uh-oh, orders on Grubho have slowed down. I'm like, oh no. Thank goodness I got on DoorDash because after that Panda Express delivery, I never got another Grubhub offer. But it's like that on weekday mornings. Weekend morning, sorry. Um, one app or the other is usually busy at, they alternate. It's, it's funny how, especially on Sunday mornings, Sunday mornings, I can be really slammed on DoorDash and not get any Grubhubs or vice versa. It's it's really a strange um, it's a strange circumstance on just Sunday morning. Saturday morning is usually a pretty good mix, but Sundays are strange. I like Sunday mornings actually. I don't think there's very many dashers out, so because I get a lot of offers usually. Anyways, moving on. After about five minutes of silence and a handful of crappy DoorDash offers, I decided just to head towards my house. I'm like, okay, this is not gonna be good. I guess getting Walmarts galore, and $3, $4, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not taking any of these, forget it. I've already made like 27 bucks, I'm good. So I start heading to my house. You know, I had that lunch to go to, I wanted to clean up a bit, I still had about 30-ish minutes left that I could deliver, but I wasn't gonna take any of the crap that DoorDash was offering. And, you know, I was just like, oh, just forget it. I'm just going to go home. And just as I give up and start heading to my house, I get offered a stacked DoorDash order. 
so it's the type of stack I like to take too. Two pickups going to the same customer. I like that because the customer knows you're going two places and you're going there for them. So if one takes a long time, they are the only customer it's affecting. So it's not like I am picking up from two different locations and delivering to two different customers. One of the orders is fast, one takes forever. The one with the fast order has to wait for the one with the slow order because I'm picking them both up. So this way it isn't like that because that customer knows both stops are for him. So anyways, it was a Jersey Mike's and a 7-Eleven pickup delivering about three miles from the 7-Eleven and it was offered at $20.50. Perfect. I should be able to get this done in under 30 minutes, no problem. I was right next to the Jersey Mike's and um, man, Jersey Mike's can be hit or miss though. It was only 11 a.m., so hopefully they wouldn't be too backed up yet. This particular Jersey Mike's gets really, really slow when they start getting busy. But like I said, it's only 11 a.m. I'm thinking, okay, how busy could they be at 11, right? <laughs> so anyways, I get to Jersey Mike's in short order. As I was very close to the restaurant. I walked in, and the guy was just putting the sandwiches into the bags. So I waited maybe three minutes for the sandwiches. No big deal. Then I headed to 7-Eleven. Uh, 7-Eleven is maybe a mile up the road from Jersey Mike's. I walked in and the guy had the 12-pack of Mountain Dew sitting there waiting for me. Awesome. So I drove to the customer's house, which was maybe 10 minutes away. Um, and dropped off the items. With the stack, you sometimes have it listed like two separate pickups and two separate deliveries. So even if they're going to the same customer, so I completed the Jersey Mike's delivery, took the picture and all, and it came to $13.75, uh, $10, it was a tip. I'm like, wow, that's nice, okay. So, um, but I knew that it was offered at 20 bucks, so I'm thinking, oh wow, so that, you know, they was probably like seven something for the, you know, the 7-Eleven, which is still great, you know, this is fine. Uh, took a picture and completed the 7-Eleven drop off, and wow, it had a $20 tip. So $23.75 for that one. So they gave a $20 tip to bring a 12 pack of Mountain Dew. I'm like, whoa. Anyway, so that was a total of $37.50 for that 20-ish minute pickup and delivery. Crazy, that was like so awesome. So it was delivered at 11.20 and I'm done. So basically these are the, um, this is the summary of that uh, nice tip. So yeah, so it was pretty good. So it was like $3.75 each one, a $10 tip for the 7-Eleven. You know, I had this backwards. And $20 for the Jersey Mike's. I put this backwards on my other sheet. But um, anyway, so great. It was awesome. Um, I think that these people were just very generous and it made my day. <laughs> I sent them a nice little thank you in a text. Um, anyway, so here is what I made from 10.15 to 11.20. Okay, so this is an hour and five minutes I was out total. So the Grubhub, uh, 16.85 plus 11.33, so 28.18 for Grubhub. And then the 37.50 for DoorDash. So 65.68 in one hour and five minutes. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad I went out, even if it was only for an hour. You know, this was a fluke, but it was really awesome. Keep in mind this hourly rate would not have continued throughout the day and would have eventually most likely averaged out to something in the 30s, which is pretty normal for me. But I wanted to share this because you never know what offers are out there and you just might have a really great day. Um, I really was so happy after this just because I've had some stressful um, deliveries in the past week or so and it's just been kind of slow and um, you know this everything just worked out great the stars were aligned it was just really really a great one hour shift <laughs> and I just want to share it and I hope you get one too um, have you ever had an hour like that <laughs> easy pickups short easy deliveries um, timing just work out really good 
large tips that really make your day. Um, no issues, no delays. If you haven't had um, at least one hour like this, I hope you get one soon. It would be great if I could have a whole shift like that. But an hour, I'm happy. I'm not going to be greedy. It was fantastic. Started off my day great. And I went and had lunch with my friends, which was amazing too. So yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. It was really exciting. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And um, I hope that this karma moves on to you. And you just have a really wonderful day.